Hi, my name is Fallout, and every time a new person clicks the subscribe button, an entitled LFG gamer looking for a minimum of 500 completions plus Gallarhorn to party up steps in gum. Usually, when new D2 content drops, my priority is always weapons. What new stuff can I get my hands on? What new weapons are good? What new perks do I like? Yada yada yada. Today, we're very quickly going to talk about armor, as Season of the Risen has provided us with maybe the easiest method of getting good high stat armor ever that even new players can take advantage of. But real quick, gentlemen, April is National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. I want to take a quick second to talk about men's health issues that are important, so listen up. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I've been partnered with Manscaped, a company I'm a big fan of for A, letting me make dick and ball jokes during the ad reads, and B, making great products that I use like the Lawnmower 4.0. Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Together, TCS and Manscaped are committed to raising awareness for the most common form of cancer in men aged 15 to 35 and giving support for fighters, survivors, and families impacted by testicular cancer. You can perform easy routine self-checks at home while using Manscaped products designed to improve your south of the belt cleanliness game. Things like their crop mop ball wipes and of course the aforementioned lawnmower 4.0 body trimmer. Go to manscaped.com TCS to learn how to check yourself out for early signs of cancer answer or share their funny educational check yourself video to help save balls and lives. As always, you can head on over to manscaped.com slash fallout plays for 20% and free shipping on your order. Join the Manscaped movement and don't forget to take good care of your dangling pair. All right, back to the content. Armor isn't always as flashy and fun as new weapons, but as D2 continues to lean more and more into build crafting, the more I've enjoyed min-maxing armor for both PvP and PvE. Now, Technically, the best endgame armor for PvE, in my opinion, is still Artifice armor, aka the armor you can get from the Grasp dungeon. Still relatively easy to farm that armor, by the way, and I feel it's the best armor for PvE because of the extra slot at the very end. However, for PvP, I rarely find myself taking advantage of the Artifice extra armor slot. Usually my perks are kind of set in stone with a touch of variety here and there. For that reason, I'm kind of kicking myself for not tinkering around with the seasonal armor offered at the war table in the helm way earlier. But can you blame me though? It's so rare that we actually get good targeted armor farms in this game, even in endgame content. I played a lot of trials this weekend and my highest armor drop from an endgame PVP activity was a 58. Might as well run into battle naked at that point. Anyway, here's the deal. The umbral focusing armor at the war table is in fact the real deal and provided you have it unlocked, will provide you with insanely viable armor every time. I've heard from a very reliable guy in the community who I trust, shout out to Ghani, that the War Table armor will drop with a minimum of 63, but it can potentially go all the way up to 68. I ended up grabbing a few pieces of armor and the lowest roll I got so far was in fact 63. Not only that, but you can use the armor related perks on your ghost shell to guarantee stat drops in whatever you're looking for the most. More on that in a minute. Let's talk about how you can grab the armor. Really the only thing you 100% need is armor decoding clearance, which you can find in the top row of the buyable upgrades at the war table. If you're a new player or you don't know how to unlock those upgrades, you need to complete certain seasonal challenges that reward you with the ability to buy unlocks at the war table. As long as you get the decoding clearance, you can buy any piece of armor, provided you've unlocked it in your collections before. Buying armor will cost you umbral engrams, which honestly I just trip over in the game at this point, legendary shards, which are also easy to come by, and risen umbral energy. TLDR, if you want a lot of armor, and you probably do, you will need a lot of Risen Umbral Energy. You can get Risen Umbral Energy a few ways, the most common way being to get it at the end of PsyOps Battlegrounds via the Runic Chest, which you can open using Psychogenic Intel. If you've earned a few more upgrades at the War Table though, you can get the following, which will also help you get more Risen Umbral Energy. Umbral Energy Requisition in the bottom red row. Completing raids, dungeons, and non-seasonal playlist activities will all now have a chance to give extra energy. Also, Light Horde Slayer, also in the bottom red row. Defeating Light Hoarder squads in PsyOps Battlegrounds now award Risen Umbral Energy. Because you can also get Risen Umbral Energy from PsyOps, you can also upgrade Throne World Surveillance also in the bottom red row. Now when you complete Throne World activities and or campaign missions, you get extra psychogenic 
Intel, which you can use in PSYOPs for more Risen energy. Finally, if you're just flat out grinding Psychogenic Intel, make sure you're equipped with any armor that has the inherent perk Uniformed Officer, which gives you extra Psychogenic Intel for completing activities. Okay, so you've gotten a bunch of Risen Umbral energy, you're ready to grab your armor. Now what? Go to your Ghost and make sure that in the third slot, you are equipping one of the six Armorer mods, which will give you a guaranteed minimum of 10 in any particular stat. Which one should you put in your Ghosts? I don't know, I'm not your dad. It depends on what kind of build you're going for and what kind of drops you need on your armor. But if I'm just in the market for any high stat piece of armor, I usually go for recovery or again, depending on my build, intellect. Well, later when you're adding mods to your armor, remember that both recovery mods and intellect mods are more expensive than mobility, strength, resil, and discipline. Already having naturally high intellect or recovery means I can put less pricey armor mods on for build crafting. Again, artifice armor does have the extra slot, but for simple PVP build crafting, this is by far the easiest way to get clean, good, high stat armor. Go grind out a little risen umbral energy and take those umbral engrams that are usually cluttering up your postmaster and put them to good use. Like today's video and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I appreciate you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.